The customer ordered a spicy menudo soup. It's a popular Mexican soup, and she claims that it was so hot, it actually melted the top of the takeout container. The incident happened in Temple, Texas. Why are the fattest Karens the most aggressive Karens? Why? God, nasty. This. The manager, 24-year-old Janelle Broland, says the woman first called to complain. And I, of course, offered her, like, refunds and was trying to get her either a replacement meal or just something completely different if she wasn't in the mood for soup anymore. Um, and she just continued to yell. But the customer showed up to confront her in person. Surveillance video shows the customer pointing to the melted plastic lid. She just still continued to yell, make a scene. Um, it's still still cursing with, you know, families and other children in the restaurant. And that's when I said, you know, ma'am, you either need to calm down or leave and or I'm going to be calling the police. And I said, ma'am, I can still help you and get you something. I just ask that you don't yell and cuss at me. And that's the moment she threw it at me. When cooked, soup can reach a temperature in excess of 200 degrees. Fortunately, the soup had cooled down when it was thrown into her face, but she says it still stung. The warmth of the soup was not enough to really burn me. I mean, as you can see, I have no injuries from that itself, but the spices from the soup are what my eyes were stinging so bad. They were burning and the spices were all like inside of the top part of my nose and it caused me to have a nosebleed. The customer walked out, but she has been identified and according to social media accounts, she's a nurse at a local hospital. This, okay, this is where things get crazy. We've seen this a lot from the Canadian nurses abusing First Nation uh, patients till they die to this now. Why is anyone not saying a word? Literally, everyone keeps their mouth shut. Why? This as in, this is abuse. Come on, guys, we're better than this. God, look at this. It's crazy. It's so shocking to watch. If you could speak to her, what would you say to her? I really don't have anything to say to her. I just kind of really hope that she learns her lesson that people are not going to tolerate being treated that way ever. Police are investigating to determine whether charges will be filed. Seriously, after everything she's done. Talk about white Karen privilege. Okay, guys, uh, this is a crazy uh, story, though. I don't even know what else to say. Like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great day. Peace.